G'day to my Capricorns and Capricorn Risings. Wow, so I've got a lot of fives in front of me right now. I've pulled a bunch of tarot cards just to egg me on on a bit of a narrative. And I'm looking at a natal chart for Capricorn Rising and where all of the planets are at the moment and where this eclipse is taking place. That's in your fifth house. Now, five is the number of change. So, And I've got the five of swords here that came out as an example of what I need to talk about. And also, the eclipse is actually playing out on the tarot card, the Five of Pentacles, which is a Taurian card. So if we think about each zodiac sign broken up into three segments, the first decan, the second decan, the third decan, the first decan, which is zero degrees to 10 degrees of Taurus, the solar eclipse is happening at 10 degrees of Taurus. And the tarot card that correlates to that exact degree is the Five of Pentacles. Now that sounds like a whole bunch of gobbledygook, but let me move through and try and explain it to you. Eclipses bring about change that we have little control over, and that might be quite difficult for a Capricorn soul. So I apologize in advance, but this is really a, maybe a triggering time for you at the moment. Eclipses can often uh, make a Capricorn sweat. Lord knows I know I'm a Capricorn sun. So the Five of Pentacles talks about a feeling of desolation. It talks about the idea of being left out in the cold. It talks about being not included, of feeling like you are stricken from the group in some way, kind of Muriel vibes, if you know that movie. The thing that I want you to put out of your mind is that this is a life sentence or if this this is this is the the, the hand of any sort of benevolence upstairs no 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 the only reason that we look at astrology and we ask the tarot is to give us the opportunity to co-create and to work with some of these feelings and emotions that are coming up in our intuitive body so really remember that you are always going to be in control of your space and of your outcome to the point that is healthy and when it becomes unhealthy that's when you must allow out external sources to maybe not intervene, but to push you into a certain direction of co-creation. So by saying all of this, you might be feeling a terror right now of not measuring up, of not being good enough, of something not working out, and then it being absolutely your fault and over and done with and you're a failure you need to put this out of your head because the fifth house is the house of heart-led experiences it's the house that talks about love affairs and playfulness and creativity and children the inner child it talks about all of these different places and and parts of our unconscious and subconscious brain that give us ease in pleasure where we don't have to overanalyze or we don't have to fret about losing stability losing grounding it's actually probably a really interesting and lovely place to have an eclipse because we don't want to have so much control over this part of our lives in in terms of and that's funny because it is ruled by taurus on your chart so you might beg to differ and you are a capricorn however there's going to be some big changes, some profound changes that we're going to start and kick off now and they're going to be felt for the next 6, 12 months. Some big movement in, in your fifth house. And it's stuff that is long overdue. It's stuff that has been not working and needs a course correction. So in that way, feel comforted that this is all going to happen in the way that is going to serve you best and it's going to be beautiful. Also, as another little tidbit, the Six of Pentacles is also being activated in the Zodiac right now. Uh, Uranus, the planet of rebellion, is sitting there at 14 degrees of Taurus. Now, the Six of Pentacles is the complete polar opposite of the Five. It's the domain of material success, of abundance, of of being able to have enough 
to pass it around and to give to others and to receive from others, but to, 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 to give and not expect anything back, I guess, is a really lovely sentiment to remember about the Six of Pentacles. So Uranus is there. Uranus is highlighting that part of the Zodiac, that part of the tarot, that, that lesson, that life lesson. So there's opportunity here. It could go in a really beautiful way if you allow yourself to put tools down for the minute, particularly over this weekend when the solar eclipse is happening. It's really important. Do all of the taurine things that fill your cup. Get the junk food. Get the bottle of wine. Pop on the movie marathon. Give yourself a facial and a foot mask. Whatever it is that you do, I don't know. You could whatever it is that you do to make yourself feel sensual and alive and present and grounded, do all of those things over this weekend and allow the energy to shift in the sky. Kind of they're taking the driver's seat, the planets at the moment. So allow that to happen. And then this change will then be something that we can work with and observe over the next bit of time. We'll be getting a full moon in Taurus in six months. So that will be a great opportunity to release in conjunction with the slightly hectic, slightly scary energy of the eclipse. We also have some really beautiful, lovely, abundant, fertile ground to work with in, in Pisces. Now, Pisces rules your third house, which is your uh, localized community. It's your siblings, your um, brothers and sisters. It's the way that you communicate too. So one really good... Um, image to keep in your mind when thinking about third house stuff is the image of like the twin sister so gemini would normally rule the the third house but because you're a capricorn rising it's in fact pisces in your personal makeup that rules that house so there is an intuitive part of you when it comes to passing along information to intimate relationships to localized relationships there is a way that I think that I've mentioned it a couple of times in my written horoscopes, but that almost like that sort of like ability that you have to pass on the info without saying a word. You can do it intuitively. You can do it with your energetic field. You can do it with your mind rather than your mouth, which is really, you know, quite a profound skill to have. Now, in your third house, we've got Venus and Jupiter in an exact conjunction, swimming around together, there's a real chance to absorb some of those Venusian qualities, those Venusian delights. Now, Venus does rule Taurus as well. So she's, she's you know, as always, but she's in the bloody back room keeping everything stable and keeping the ship going. While we're dealing with the eclipse, Venus is there with Jupiter. They're linking arms and they're really generating some real optimism and beauty in in your third house of those intimate communications it might be a really nice time to reach out to to those limited few that you feel that you've got a, a connection with that you've got some sort of you know call it what you like it could be psychic it could be subliminal it could be unconscious whatever terminology is comfortable for you to work with but you know the people that i'm talking about think about those people that you've got a real line of connection with soul to soul and let them know how you feel let them know how grateful you are for their presence in your life and you know what i dare say that you'll probably get it that all reflected right back to you it's really a lovely time to gently simmer in that that lovely comfort and understanding of of intimacy so at this at this new moon at this solar eclipse put tools down as far as your hard balls to the wall manifestations go you really can relax about this at the moment allow what needs to happen to happen everything's in place now is our time to just move forward with the plan and let it be and really soak up some of that beautiful intuitive love messages with those closest to you with those you know i'll say it again you'll know who it is when i'm talking it's not it's it, you know don't give it away for free i mean you're a capricorn you never do <laughs> but 
yeah, really allow yourself that 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 line of communication, that intimacy. There's a lot of beauty to be had here. Uh, there is. I've got the hermit card here that came out for you, so I'll just touch on that very quickly. Like it's very important to have that time of solitude and that time of intense focus on one's goals and that time away from the milieu. But I think just gently, gently, gently for all of this jubilation to be happening in your third house of localised community. Well, I guess we'll call it like the village. Maybe that might make sense to you. But it's, yeah, thinking, learning, communicating, the, 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 the folks that have an impression on the way that you see the world. That might be a good way to, to describe the third house space. Particularly because yeah, it's and it's it's a it's a Pisces place for you, so we're we're thinking subliminal. But swish around in that good cheer for a while, and then we can deal with the changes the eclipses have set up over the coming months, and we'll be able to conquer and, and work with this. You know, if it's, it's one, th it's the co-creation aspect is something that I really want you to focus in on. And as a solitary Capricorn, that might be difficult for you. But co-creation is a really beautiful space to exist in. And it's once you can find the trust, wherever that was put down for a while, and I completely understand and respect how that could have happened, but you can pick up that trust again and invest it in the right folks and then we'll see what we can make together. And I have a feeling that it's going to be lovely. Okay, Capricorn, that's all I've got for you for today. Uh, all the very best with the eclipse. Let me know how this feels, how this um, new format goes for you. If you like to listen rather than to read the horoscopes, I'd be happy to do some more of this. But that's, yeah, it's all a work in progress. Uh, my third house is actually the one with the eclipse in it. So I'm changing up the way I communicate. I'm grabbing it by the tail and figuring it out. Uh, all the very best to you and I'll speak to you soon. Ta-da.